the world and European champion and winner of the World Jiu-Jitsu Games, Ivan Nastenko is a unique athlete. Thanks to his father, he learned to sit on a twine much earlier than he learned how to walk. He also tried to engage in so many different forms of sport that it's probably easier to tell about what Ivan Nastenko did not engage in. Today the world of sports knows him as an unsurpassed jiu-jitsu master, although in addition he can boast of the title of European champion in fitness in his high results in hand-to-hand -hand combat, bodybuilding, ninjutsu, karate and boxing. So we invite you to watch the impressive story of a young Ukrainian named Ivan Nastenko. Zodiac sign Aquarius Favorite color Red Favorite season Summer Favorite music I'm a fanatic of all genres of music. Favorite book? The Lord of the Rings, Tolkien. Favorite movie? Braveheart with Mel Gibson. Favorite fairy tale character? Ivan the Fool. After all, my name is also Ivan. Favorite food? Well, I love meat. And I learned to cook on my own when I started engaging in fitness training. Favorite character of Greek mythology? Realizing the power, strength and charisma, such as a so-called demigod showed, it seems to me that any athlete would strive to emulate the mythical hero named Hercules. While today Ivan Nastenko can be compared with the great demigod. And even if in his lifetime he does not perform such heroic deeds as Hercules did, all his achievements in sports can be described as overcoming very difficult obstacles. In the European Cup I won the final match with a broken finger. In the semi-final my finger was injured, but I was not sure. It came out of the joint and then the medic bandaged it and I ended the fight with a victory. Four hours after the final I felt pain in my finger and I could not grip my fist to put down my opponent, but in the end I won. After the title of European champion, the collection of the Ukrainian master of Jiu-Jitsu was supplemented with a gold award from the World Games held in Colombia in 2013. There no fingers were broken, but he went through a psychological trauma, having lost in the tournament already in the first duel to Masoud Khalil Vand from Iran. I go out and lose the first duel to the Iranian. I go out and win the second fight. I go out from the qualifying matches, I go to the semi-finals and win. In the final I meet with the Iranian, to whom I lost the first fight. What have I done wrong? Stood in the count. He's left-handed and I stood in the right-hand stance. As a mirror, I meant it is convenient for me to work, but I do not. And let me change the position, and I change it. I stand him like a mirror. And that's all. The title of the world champion was awarded to Ivan Nastenko only in 2017. Fortunately for him, he once again got the chance to fight in Colombia. Up until then, he climbed up the world's pedestal several times, but he did not win the title of champion until November 2017. Here I played such a phrase in my head, a step before. I already rose above the bronze, but I did not want silver. I wanted gold. I was just a step away, and in my head there was such thoughts. Stop a step away. And then when I got out on the tatami, we started to work. I realized that I would do a replay, I understood, I was confident, and I was faster. Jiu-jitsu is a Japanese sport, which contains elements of fighting techniques. This is the art of softness, the philosophy of which is to yield to the onslaught of the enemy and then to win. There is a legend that this kind of Japanese wrestling appeared later in the 9th century in the court of the physician of Emperor Akayama Shirobe who saw that under the weight of snow, the big branches of trees were broken and the fine twigs of willows sank under the snow, but then straightened. He made these observations come true and created the first school of hand-to-hand -hand combat similar to Jujutsu. This modern sport differs from its ancestors by its clear rules, although the principle remains the same – to defeat the enemy. Victory can be different. You can beat the opponent on points, you can win with a spectacular knockout, but the most appreciated in jiu-jitsu are other things. 
Knockout даже не настолько... It has always been thought that knockout is not even more prestigious when you force your partner to surrender. He himself asks to stop the fight or knock on the tatami. I even remember the old film with Jean-Claude Van Damme, Bloodsport. They cut down everyone in it. But what was the joke? He forced him to say, mate, stop, stop, I give up. Raise up my hand. Well, well, you were cut off, everything happens, and then you drop your pride and surrender. All Jujutsu masters are famous for their painful techniques. If he did not follow the actions of the opponent, or if he fell for such a method, usually after the white flag is raised. Despite this, Jujutsu is growing up in legends according to which not all always surrender to the mercy of the enemy. One of the memorable episodes is a duel between the Brazilian fighter Elio Gracie, in which he lost to the Japanese Masahiko Kimura. During the fight with the Japanese he broke his arm and he did not give up. Due to this, the name of the submission hold of Kimura appeared, which the Brazilians respectfully named in honor of him. And then the Japanese gave them in honor of the spirit of the samurai when the fighter did not give up, though his arm was broken. He did not tap, thus showing his spirit. They gave the opportunity to be called it Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It is in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that Ivan Nastenko sees a great potential for himself and his future in building up techniques. It is in Jiu-Jitsu that he reached all peaks, and now these results can only be repeated. But in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, though not a beginner, he still has to work and work hard to reach perfection. Japanese Jiu-Jitsu is a comprehensive martial art. These are punches, kicks, hits with elbows, knees and wrestling while standing. The catch, the throw and hereafter the throw begins Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The main thing is a fight in the parterre position. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is based on parterre. There are elements of fixing a partner and, of course, the ultimate goal is submission, painful hold, surrender or strangulation. Ivan Nastenko started engaging in martial arts since childhood. His father Volodymyr, in the late 1980s, was an ardent supporter of martial arts, which were banned at that time. He was fond of it and coached others wushu, karate and hand-to-hand -hand fighting. It's what his father liked and it was also instilled in the young Ivan. Volodymyr Nastenko strengthened him physically as best as he could. He taught his son to sit on splits, to stretch, do pull-ups, push-ups and crouch. In the early 1990s, his father worked in the Moscow Force Theater, and he often took Ivan to performances. On the tour, Ivan Nastenko's ability to squat came in handy, and he remembered that very well. He constantly made me squat at least a hundred times on one foot with a pistol squat. And somehow we got bored. We were going somewhere on a ship and decided to play. Maybe there were even bets placed, I do not know. I would put it right now. And it turns out 20 times on one leg, 20 times on the other, 20 times on one, and they sat, counted. Well, it turned out that I sat down 1,800 times in 56 minutes. But these experiments were done with the boy with one simple and ultimate goal, that he would be strong and could stand up for himself. Dad always wanted me to fight. Well, I'm not exactly a conflict person. I did not avoid conflicts, but in my presence the conflict was resolved. I do not know why I have such perception. No, I fought in the streets. Not everything depends on you, and there are some minor situational errors. At the age of eight, Ivan Nastenko got into the first in his life boxing competitions. This too was his father's plan. They went to the tournament to watch, but it turned out that Ivan was among the participants. I did not box before that. I was just given the opportunity. We arrived in Hartsysk, a town near Makivka. My father came up to his friends asking whether Ivan can box. Well, you know that you can't fight with your feet in boxing, so they ate to Ivan. Don't hit with your feet. Ivan began moving like a tank. After two rounds my head was swollen. I was about eight years old. The fight was over and we left. Mother did not want her son to go through such a brutal, Spartan-like childhood. But she did not hide Ivan under her skirt. 
She only wanted to make sure that his father did not go too far in training their son. Mom always treated this with understanding, and my father always said to me, give it some time and then you will see and decide for yourself. As the saying goes, time will tell, and will show the positive and negative sides. Thank goodness, it turned out positive, and I am very happy about that. Now my parents support me, and I am truly grateful for this. Ivan Nastenko followed in the footsteps of his father. He also sees a sports future in Jujutsu for his 11-year-old son Akim. He trains Akim and gives him guidance and instructions during competitions. Be that as it may, he allows his son the freedom of choice. I said yes, it's a great idea, I do not mind. We'll buy you a good computer so you can learn to draw. But this does not mean he should give up training and competition in Jujutsu. It will remain in his heart and soul, as this is the third generation of Nastenko. His grandfather, father and aunt continue to train, so he will not give up. The world champion in Jujutsu is so far not in a rush to train Akim in this sport. The main task for today is to not miss any training sessions. And the results will be seven years from now, when the father has already realized his ambitions for Tatami and his son will mature and become stronger. As this saying goes, the apple does not fall far from the tree. And the experience and way of life of the father Liz is eventually transferred to the son in character and behavior. I was thrilled when Akim said, Dad, I also want to have a blue kimono and a blue belt. I want to earn it. Ivan Ostenko has achieved outstanding results in Jiu-Jitsu, not only as an athlete. He can also proudly boast of the victories of his team at major national tournaments as a coach. In some of the sections, his pupils won absolutely all of the prizes. He is proud of these results and thanks to them he understands that he must not give up in the sport. Your students are a smart motivator for you, because a person shows progress in two cases. When they have an idol to look up to, or a teacher. And when the pupils put pressure on you, then you understand that you have to show your will, your pupils will unwind. You have to keep yourself well-toned and constantly trained, so you can show that you have the will and strength to account for yourself. Different generations of people come to engage in training sessions led by Ivan Nastenko. There are sportsmen of all ages. For example, he pointed out that there is a 62-year-old newcomer in his training class. He's in good tone. Yes, he does not have enough equipment. He is fighting me with strength. I try to tell him, Nikolai, what strength? I say to him, it's all about techniques. He is 62 years old and is a true role model. He says, well, it's great, I also want to fight young boys in my 62 years, but not like Nikolai, he's inexperienced, I want to spin them on the tatami. Ivan Nastenko is sure that it will be so. The kind of sport that he does contributes to longevity. You can perceive this as advertising of Jujutsu. And even if you do not achieve such great results as Ivan Nastenko did, at the very least you will strengthen your health. Jujutsu is great as it requires stretching, which are very important for a person's health, in particular the health of joints, muscles and the overall physical condition of the body. Fighting is the smartest aerobic method of keeping the body in good shape. Physical exercises in the gym are a key element in training in Jiu-Jitsu. This is your body and your health, and you will live longer. Ivan Nastenko became familiar with Jiu-Jitsu at the age of 14. Now this is not only his favorite pastime, but his life. On the tatami he achieved all that he had dreamed of. He continued to improve his skills in Jiu-Jitsu with the ultimate aim of achieving victory in every tournament that he competed in. A knife is sharp instrument and can cut just about anything, but over time it becomes dull, so it must be constantly sharpened to maintain its sharpness.
нельзя научиться одному. The martial art jujutsu constantly needs to be honed in order to maintain its sharpness. You cannot learn one technique and hope to win in a few major competitions. This sport has great potential for growth. It's like a construction kit or puzzle that I continue to put together. Это конструктор, это пазл, который я собираю до сих пор. Today, the world and European champion and winner of the World Jiu-Jitsu Games is trying to enter the elite of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, where his idol is Roberto Cyborg Abreu. He also has plans to gain victory in all the tournaments in the second round, to which he climbed to the top up until this moment. The next World Games in Jiu-Jitsu will be hosted in the state of Alabama, in the U.S., but he's headstrong and gung-ho to continue his path of success in his favorite sport.